Hello everybody, this is Sabisachi Paul from Eastern Finances Limited and today we will discuss as to how the index weightage is derived uh, for the Nifty 50 index. Now the Nifty 50 represents about 62% of the free float market cap of the stocks which are listed on the NSC as on 13th September 22. The total traded value of the Nifty 50 constituents for the last 6 months ending September is approximately 41% of the traded value of all stocks in the NSC. Now this index is calculated based on the free float market cap of all its constituents. Now free float uh, methodology is globally regarded as the as ideal for calculating of various equity indices. Uh, free float market cap of an index constituents is derived by applying the IWF or investable weightage factor on the full market cap of the respective companies in the index. Now this approach aims to limit the influence of, partic uh, of a particular company in the index to the extent of the actual free float and reduces influence of large promoters or strategic holdings which are generally not available for trading on the index. Thus it makes it truly investable. The IWF for each company in the index is determined based on the public shareholding of the companies as disclosed by the shareholding patterns at the end of every quarter. Now the following categories are excluded from the free food uh, factor uh, which is identifiable separately. Firstly, it's the shareholding of uh, promoters or promoter group and then going ahead in addition to that, the government holding in equity uh, in, in the capacity of a strategic investor, shares held by promoters through ADRs or GDRs, strategic uh, stake by corporate bodies, uh, investments under FDI category, equity held by associates or group uh, companies through cross holdings, employee welfare trusts and stocks under the lock-in category. So uh, for example, uh, if, if we consider the uh, Nifty 50 index, over here uh, RIL will have an IWF of 0 0.6 as, to, as only 60% of its market cap accounts for the weightage in the index uh, while uh, you know for other companies like uh, IETC, HDFC Bank or LNT 100% of, of weightage is considered because they don't have uh, any promoter holding as such. Now the weights are, are, are rebalanced uh, every day uh, while you know the index constituents uh, with they are rebalanced semi-annually twice a year in March and September. So if we see over here that you know Reliance Industries despite having such a huge uh, market cap you know based on its free float it has a weightage of about 11%. Uh, and then uh, second to that we would be having HDFC Bank again around 8%. ICICI Bank also has about 8% weightage. Infosys about 7%. HDFC Limited about 5.5%. And then we have other companies like uh, a Tata uh, Consultancy Service or TCS which has about 4% and over here if you notice despite you know Tata TCS having such a huge market cap its weightage is less because it has a lesser amount of free float and then ITC is there Kotak Mahindra Bank LNT and the top 10 is rounded off by Axis Bank so if you if you like uh, my videos please uh, share and subscribe for better reach Thank you so much.